to episode seven of Cooking with Watson and Bobby Flay. That's not right. Welcome to episode seven of Cooking with Andrew and Watson. Today, we're doing seafood. Um, I was really excited. We're gonna do a lemon scallop shrimp with shrimp risotto. We'll try to clean up the title of it um, before we air this, but there's no jello. Um, there's no Dollar Tree items. This is a very nice meal to kind of bring y'all back from last week. So we have risotto here. Risotto here, excuse me. Um, garlic, roasted garlic risotto. I was just gonna make it, because um, it kind of takes a while. The way with risotto, to make it really creamy, you need to kind of boil with the water or broth, in our case, um, and then slowly kind of mix it with your rice. Um, but these instructions are terrible. They're almost as bad as mine. Um, it's, a, it's just asking you to put two and a half cups of water, cold water, in a pan, put your ingredients in the pan, and cook it. We're not doing that. So, we're going to do it the right way. We're going to boil two and a half cups of chicken stock, preferably seafood stock. I didn't have any, I didn't see any, so we're using chicken stock. So we're going to boil two and a half cups of chicken stock. Um, in the meantime, we're going to put this in a pan, just kind of get it hot, and then I'm going to add a couple jalapenos, very thinly sliced. Um, and some cherry tomatoes sliced. Um, we're going to mix all that up with our risotto. And then the showstoppers for today, we have jumbo scallops that have been thawed out. And we have raw, medium-sized shrimp. So, we're going to get the risotto on first, then I'll get these cut. I'm going to cut the tails off of the shrimp. Um, you don't have to, most of you probably don't for the presentation I'm going to, I think. Um, and we're going to dry these with some paper towels. The drier these scallops are going to be, the better crust you're going to get. So, do you like seafood? He has been braiding all day. He saw me bring this stuff in, and he's like, I'm ready. This was yesterday. We didn't know yesterday. Um, there's fire. Dad, glad you're okay. 2020 has been very crazy. Um, I don't know what's next. Aliens coming down. Everything bad that could have happened has happened. So, I'm upset, I'm angry. I'm angry with the current climate. I'm angry with the police. I'm angry with people looting and destroying things. I'm angry all around. Um, I've seen many videos uh, today, uh, even in the Columbus, um, police just being awful, <laughs> awful to people. I'm talking peaceful protesters, not to get on a rant here. I was in Columbus on Saturday, and as I was driving up um, for a very nice dinner date, shout out to Beryl and Boar, uh, dinner there, social distance dinner, before you say anything, it was social distancing dinner, um, it was fine, and as I'm on the way up there, I get, it's like an Amber Alert, and it says, uh, state of emergency, Columbus, Ohio, curfew till 10 o'clock, and obviously, you know what's going on, I know what's going on, so... It kind of hit a little closer to home whenever there's a curfew in a town I used to live, a town I love. Um, and then, you know, there was a peaceful protest yesterday, which I applaud everyone that was involved with that. But enough of the um, conversation. I'm doing this today because we're going to take our mind off of it for a minute. It's still there. A lot needs done. This didn't happen overnight. It's not going to be fixed overnight. Um, a lot needs done. But for now, we're going to cook. And we're going to enjoy a meal. And we're gonna love each other. Right? High five. There we go. Alright, on to the risotto. We're back. I'm liking this angle so you guys can kind of see me working um, here. Take off my jacket. This meal can be done very quickly. It's gonna look like it's taken hours. It's gonna take maybe 20 minutes. And that's what cook cooking the risotto. So uh, if you like seafood. Definitely give this a try. This is all stuff from Aldi. I don't usually say where I get my stuff. This time it was Aldi. I knew they had the um, scallops at a decent price. It was $9.99 for 12 ounces. So, very excited about those. All right, we have some chicken broth here. And let's spill it. We're gonna do, it says the recipe calls for two and a half cups for a risotto. We're gonna do three. Because this is going to cook down just a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and put the tomatoes 
and the jalapenos in this broth to kind of let the juices really marry together. There's two. And one more. When our risotto is finished, we're going to a little bit of heavy cream and um, some lemon juice and zest and get that going. So we're going to go medium high heat. We're going to wait till this gets to a nice boil. I'm going to cut up the jalapenos and the um, tomatoes. We'll go ahead and add to it too. All right. I put a little bit of olive oil in our cast iron. The cast iron is back. This is getting hot now. And then I put our risotto in here. As you can see, kind of get an idea of the texture. It's actually an, an arborio rice. Arborio. Um, and it's a starchier rice. And it works well when you, like I said earlier, slowly put in the hot either water or um, stock to help it make it of a creamier. It's almost like a mac and cheese, but as a rice. So I have our jalapenos and our cherry tomatoes. I'm actually going to wait to put these in. Um, these are raw jalapenos and they smell very hot. I don't want the jalapenos to over, over blah, blah, as I can talk, to overpower the dish. So uh, they're going to go in when I get everything ready to go because I'm going to add a little bit of heavy cream to our risotto. So we wait. I'll come bring you back over here let you see I have the scallops out. And as you see, dog is walked in this food bowl. Scallops are out. There's a the shrimp. We are going to leave the tails on. So, set. Come on, man. You got to be a good host. Would you like to add anything? Do you want to add anything, son? He's like, hurry up. All right. Oh, we might have something. What is it? We're not gonna add our videos and our gifts, giffies, whatever they're called. Uh, we're gonna go straight video today. I know no one really has the time to waste 25 minutes watching a food show, so we're gonna try to keep this as short as we can. All right, we are getting close on the stock. We're gonna have to put our shrimp in a bowl here. I'm gonna put salt and pepper and mix it up. Put a little bit of lemon pepper in it as well, the same with the scallops. Um, talking about deals in Aldi, I got this shrimp maybe $6. I counted, there's 40 shrimp in this thing. So again, that's another really good deal. I always notice that Kroger, you can get like the shrimp cocktail rings, which are you know, obviously fantastic. They're always like 30 bucks. No one wants to spend 30 bucks on already cooked shrimp. So yeah, highly recommend Aldi, maybe. They could be terrible. And then we're like, nope. Get the shrimp cocktail. I need a bigger kitchen. My next house, hopefully, will have a bigger kitchen. All right, a little bit of salt. Already put some pepper in it. <clears throat> I was doing some reading on cooking because I want to do a good job at this show and for you guys. And they're saying, they tell me 30% of the seasonings you put on anything is going to burn right off. So be generous with your salt and your pepper. If you can have salt and pepper. A little bit of the lemon pepper. I'm gonna give it a nice shake. Toss, not shake. Turn this down just a bit. So I got the other burner on to try to get hot. Tossing this just like this. The good thing about this as well, it smells fantastic. Um, it only takes about six minutes, three, four minutes on each side for this for the shrimp and the scallops. So it should not take a long time. Your main thing will be your risotto. All right, now let's see what happens here. We're we'll actually switch pans to give you a better view. So we're gonna add a little bit here at a time. Let me get a nice spoon. This will work. Okay. I might use some slow motion music here. Just 
just a bit. Okay, start to spit, start to spit. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Cannot talk today. Uh, start to stir, God. I think they do subtitles, so good luck with that. Okay, we can go ahead and add a little more. We want this to get hot too, to cook as well. But it just helps with the creaminess of it if the stock or the water is already hot versus their directions, which were to put it all in cold. We'll give this about two minutes. We'll come back, we'll add the rest. We can go ahead and add the jalapenos and the tomatoes. It would be like movie magic, it will um, kind of firm up. Get a nice boil on that. All right, I'm excited. I've also never made risotto before. Just, I should have told you in the beginning, I've never made it before, but it's the first time for everything. All right, we are getting close on the stock. I went ahead and put our shrimp in a bowl here. I'm gonna put salt and pepper and mix it up. Put a little bit of lemon pepper in it as well, the same with the scallops. Um, talking about deals in Aldi, I got the shrimp maybe $6. I counted, there's 40 shrimp in this thing. So again, that's another really good deal. I always notice that Kroger, you can get like the shrimp cocktail rings, which are you know, obviously fantastic. They're always like 30 bucks. No one wants to spend 30 bucks on already cooked shrimp. So yeah, highly recommend Aldi. Maybe. They could be terrible. They were like, nope. Get the shrimp cocktail. I need a bigger kitchen. My next house, hopefully, will have a bigger kitchen. All right, a little bit of salt. Already put some pepper in it. <clears throat> I was doing some reading on cooking because I want to do a good job at this show and for you guys. And they're saying, they tell me 30% of the seasonings you put on anything is going to burn right off. So be generous with your salt and your pepper. If you can have pe salt and pepper. A little bit of the lemon pepper. I'm gonna give it a nice shake. Toss, not shake. Put this down just a bit. So I got the other burner on to try to get hot. Just tossing this just like this. The good thing about this as well, it smells fantastic. Um, it only takes about six minutes, three, four minutes on each side for this for the shrimp and the scallops. So. It should not take a long time. Your main thing will be your risotto. All right, now, let's see what happens here. We'll actually switch pans to give you a better view. So we're gonna add a little bit here at a time. Let me get a nice spoon. This will work. Okay. I might use some slow motion music here. Just a bit. Okay, start to spit, start to spit. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Cannot talk today. Uh, start to stir, God. I think they do subtitles, so good luck with that. Okay, we can go ahead and add a little more. We want this to get hot too, to cook as well. But it just helps with the creaminess of it if the stock or the water is already hot versus their directions, which were to put it all in cold. We'll give this about two minutes. We'll come back, we'll add the rest. We can go ahead and add the jalapenos and the tomatoes. 
It'll be like movie magic. It will um, kind of firm up. Get a nice boil on that. All right, I'm excited. I've also never made risotto before. Just, I should have told you in the beginning, I've never made it before, but it's the first time for everything. We're back. As my friend Josh Caldwell says, you don't learn anything, you don't know anything until you learn it. So, we are learning risotto today. I'll turn down the heat just a little bit to like medium, a little, little lower than medium. I don't want it to burn, I want it to come kind of naturally. What we want is it to cook down, the rice to cook out, to add the rest here, and then when it slowly simmers, we'll add just about a half a cup of whipping cream, heavy whipping cream, and a little bit of fresh lime juice with some of the zest. As soon as this cooks down a bit, we can go ahead and put on our scallops. We'll put them on first because they're going to take a little bit longer. I love the collar of the of the tomatoes and the jalapenos. I think it looks great. As you can see, it's forming up. I moved Watson. You could tell he was wanting to watch, but the chair was not placed in a proper spot for him, so now he is good. Oh, I'll have you all know I did not throw out the Jello Abomination. I didn't throw all of it out. I, I threw some of it out. Um, yeah, it would have been a good meal without that Jello. Okay, we will come back when this is a little bit thicker, and then we're going to add the rest of our chicken stock and get on our, our scallops. All right. We're going to put the last of our chicken stock in. We'll leave a little bit. I know I put in a little extra, but we will leave just a little bit. Let this cook down. Now will also be a good time. We're going to cut up our lemon. Now, as I've said in the past, make sure you roll lemons and limes because you're going to get more juice that way. Give it a nice roll. I hope that you can see that. Perfect. So my hope is the lemon kind of counteracts the jalapeno and they have a nice fusion of flavor. But I'm an amateur chef and Watson is the host, so no promises. Smells great. Again, we're going to let this cook down. I would say around a medium high heat. We'll go ahead and put on our scallops. So with the scallops, just season on the bottoms, or the tops, whatever you want to say. And then when you flip them on like this, you can season the tops. Start at 12 o'clock and come around just like it's a clock. You should pause it here and say, what's the likelihood he burns himself? High, very high. These are bigger, as you can see, these are bigger scallops. Um, Kroger, or Kroger. Aldi also has smaller ones as well. Um, but I was really wanting to get a nice, a nice scallop for this meal. Okay. 
Okay, that is on. Turn down just a tad. And season, season, season. What's going to be really nice is when I can do these meals for company. Because like I said, I did go out to dinner, but it was very, um, very mindful of our current climate. They were masked. We were six feet apart. We were outdoors. That place was great. So you're probably looking, I don't know, um, four to five minutes. So let's say six minutes, we'll say three minutes on each side. Um, you just really want a good crust on them. So now we can go ahead and start putting on our shrimp. Risotto will be all right, as long as you're close by, keep an eye on it. Make sure they're all laying flat. Too many shrimp. That's okay. We'll keep the rest of the shrimp. We're gonna cover it, put it in the fridge. We'll cook it up with a nice salad. God, I sound like a food show host. We're gonna cook it up with a nice salad. <laughs> God. Oh. Cover this. And don't touch it. Leave it. Leave it alone. We've seen that with steaks. We wanted to get a good crust. Risotto is looking good. Our lemon. We're going to add some zest over here. This is just a vegetable peeler. Um, you're mainly just going to scrape the back of it. You can also use it at the end to give your plate a nice presentation. We'll probably do that as well. Close. Still, I'll do, still I'll do, excuse me. <laughs> and uh, it's a little spicy, but it's close. Yeah, it's good. It's very good. Check our scallops. Oh, not yet.
Now is the point where we're going to add, like I said, about a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Just to give it a really nice, creamy texture. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Again, this will cook down. I'm hoping to time it to where it's cooked down by the time these bad boys are ready. Watson, do you like scallops or shrimp? Trick question. You like them both, don't you? We will come back and probably it's 7.45 right now. I want to say I want to give it I mean, three to four minutes. And we'll be back. The risotto will be ready to go. And I'll be able to flip these. All right. We are going to turn now. Give a nice look at the collar. And the shrimp as well. Look at that. Risotto is good to go. I'll show you here in just a second. The one negative I would say is I did pat the scallops dry, but there was still a lot of moisture in them, so I don't think they got as brown as I liked in the beginning. The shrimp are looking great. Very nice. Very nice. I'm excited for this meal. I was excited when I got this. Okay, we're there. We're, we're at the finish line. I turned the risotto down to almost off. Let it cool, and as you can see, it thickened up. That's exactly what we want with our risotto. Nice, creamy, almost like a mac and cheese. So we're going to go plate. Try to make this look fancy. So they always say eating is like I don't know 90% of some made up number with your eyes. Probably true. So I try to plate accordingly. Come on, scallop. So this bad boy, ready to go. Right here. Boom. I'm not doing boom anymore. Now you're seeing all this build up on the cast iron, that's perfectly fine. Um, that's what helps give it the crust. It's easy to clean. Once it cools down enough, put a little soap and water, let it set, and then very gently scrub it off. And then I always put more oil in it and then put it in the oven at 400 degrees for like an hour. Okay, here. See, perfect. There. I right, see so you got taken that off the heat completely.
up here. This one. So we'll do six scallops. And then we'll do a few shrimp. Okay, turn the heat off. Hot. All right. What we're gonna do is go ahead and throw these in there just so they don't continue to cook, at least not as much, because we're gonna get a burnt shrimp just like that. All right. A little bit of zip, lemon zest, and we'll be good. come over and I'll get, put a little zoom that's on it. We'll be good to go. All right, it's plated. A little bit of lemon zest, just for color. You can obviously eat it too. And lastly, a little bit of color there. A little bit of cheese, same deal. <laughs> Maybe this is Watson's favorite part. I had to go kind of thin like this. This is a cheddar cheese here. I would, I believe, um, probably a Parmesan would have been better. But, this is what we had. Okay. Boom. It is time to eat. Oh. That just added $700 to the meal. And you have to buy your own sides. All right. Thank you guys for joining in. I will try it. And let you know. Thank you. All right, sorry, you should probably watch me try it. The way I don't like it, you'll know immediately. <clears throat> okay. Watson, I, know, I hear you, bud. Can I scallop? It's good. Very good. I liked adding the jalapenos. I know I was on the fence about that, but it does give it a little bit of a, like a hint of a spice. But that lemon's very flavorful as well. Yeah. Home run. Good stuff. Watson will have some scallops in just a second. At least one or two. Next week, we may go out. We may pause and go review a restaurant. Or we may do breakfast. I don't know yet. We haven't decided. Anyway, we'll see you next week. Be safe. Stay home when you can. Wear a mask when you can. Wash your hands. Love each other. That's the most important thing. Love each other. Thanks.